Hey guys, this is Adam Taffler from Togetherness. And today we're talking about what you can do if someone repeatedly crosses your boundaries. Number one, you need to tell them. You need to say, hey, this is not okay with me. And I know this sounds so obvious, but actually a lot of us don't tell people that they're crossing our boundaries. And then how are these people to know? So we need to tell them. We need to be really clear. We need to say, it's not okay for me that you take my things without asking. You might want to share a little bit of the impact on you as well. Like, I feel a bit violated when you take my things without asking. And then you make a positive request. In the future, when you want to borrow something from me, I want you to ask me. Will you ask me when you want to borrow something in the future? And stay there till you get a positive affirmation from them. Yes, I will ask you. Now, sometimes we do that and the pattern continues. This can be really annoying. Now, in that situation, we've got different options. We can't always control how the other person behaves. In fact, I don't think we can ever control how the other person behaves. But we can control how we show up and what actions we take. So one option we can have is to not put ourselves in that position in the first place. And I know in uh, close relationships and family situations and work situations, it's not always as simple as that. There can be a middle way. So I had a girlfriend who enjoyed letting off steam with uh, a few glasses of wine. And I found actually I didn't like spending time with her once she'd had more than about two glasses of wine. Like, I just, I didn't enjoy being with her. So I said to her, look, I know you like drinking. I've noticed that I don't enjoy being with you when you've had more than two glasses of wine. So, like, I love you and I care about you and I don't want to stop you from doing what you want to do, but um, I don't want to spend time with you when you've had more than two glasses of wine. So you can, you can do that and I'll just go off and do my own thing. And actually that seemed to really work. It worked for us and eventually she uh, actually changed her habits uh, to a place where actually we really enjoyed spending a lot more time with each other all the time. But you can always remove yourself from a situation, put distance between you and it. That's our ultimate thing is like, we can leave, like we can leave the job, we can leave the relationship, we can move somewhere else. And for sure, it can be quite annoying to do that, it can have a big, big impact. But if we're no longer willing to continue and someone repeatedly is crossing our boundaries, like we can, we can leave. This is day five, four, I'm losing count already of a hundred days to find my true voice. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. See you tomorrow.